Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Ammal Mahalingam Engineering College, Koyil Vinni. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture on the solution and discussion on the gate question paper in Mechanical Engineering. And this is lecture number 42. We are going to discuss few questions from heat exchanger. The first question from 2019 question paper. Hot and cold fluid enter a parallel flow double pipe heat exchanger at 100 degrees Celsius and 15 degrees Celsius respectively. The heat capacity rates of hot and the cold fluid are CH 2000 watts per Kelvin, CC cold fluid 1200 watts per Kelvin respectively. If the outlet temperature of the cold fluid is 45 degrees Celsius, the LMTD of the heat exchanger is dash Kelvin, round to two decimal places. The answer is 57.71 Kelvin. So, we will show the calculation in the next slide. So, we are given THI equal to 100 degree Celsius, TCI equal to 15 degree Celsius, heat capacity of the hot fluid 2000 watts per Kelvin and the cold fluid 1200 watts per Kelvin and TCO equal to 45 degree Celsius. So, heat gained by the cold fluid equal to heat lost by the hot fluid. So, MCCPC into TCO minus TCI equal to MHCPH into THI minus THO. So, MCCPC is CC, it is 1200 into 45 minus 15 equal to 2000 into 100 minus THO. So, solving THO hot water outlet temperature is 82 degree Celsius. And this is the temperature profile of the parallel flow heat exchanger. The delta T1, THI minus TCI, both the fluids are entering on the left side. So, THI minus TCI, 100 minus 15 equal to 85 degree Celsius. And THO, both fluid leaving on the right side, THO minus TCO equal to 82 minus 45 equal to 37 degree Celsius. Now, the LMTD, delta T1 minus delta T2 divided by logarithmic of delta T1 by delta T2. 85 minus 37 divided by logarithmic of 80 by 37 equal to 57.71 degree Celsius or Kelvin. Both are equal because we are calculating the temperature difference. For calculating temperature difference, substituting the temperature in Kelvin or Celsius, both will give the same result. The next question from 1988 question paper. A shell tube heat exchanger used to be designed for heating pressurized water by means of hot gases which gets cooled. The data are as follows. The temperature of water at the inlet 80 degrees Celsius, temperature of water at the outlet 140 degrees Celsius, temperature of the gases at the inlet 340 degrees Celsius, temperature of gases at the outlet 180 degrees Celsius, mass flow rate of water 12 kilograms per second, specific heat of water 4.2 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin, overall heat transfer coefficient 30 watts per meter square Kelvin, Correction factor for LMTD based on the counter flow configuration. 0.9, calculate the tube surface area required in the heat exchanger and the effectiveness of the heat exchanger. We have to calculate the area and the effectiveness of the heat exchanger. So, we are given TCI equal to 80 degree Celsius, TCO equal to 140 degree Celsius, THI equal to 340 degree Celsius, THO equal to 180 degree Celsius, MC equal to 12 kilogram per second. CPC equal to 4.2 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin, U equal to 30 watts per meter square Kelvin and the, the correction factor F equal to 0 0.9. So, we have the heat capacity CC equal to MCCPC 12 into 4200 equal to 50,400 watts per Kelvin. We have this equation heat gain by the cold fluid equal to heat loss by the hot fluid. So, using this expression we calculate the Heat capacity of the hot fluid CH equal to 16,800 watts per Kelvin. So, substituting all numerical values, we calculate the unknown CH, heat capacity of the hot fluid. Then, this is the counter flow heat exchanger, temperature profile of the counter flow heat exchanger. And for counter flow heat exchanger, delta T1, so left side, THI minus TCO, 340 minus 140 equal to 200 degrees Celsius. Delta T2, THO minus TCI. 180 minus 80 equal to 100 degree Celsius. Then del LMTD, delta T1 minus delta T2 divided by logarithmic of delta T1 by delta T2. 
So, substituting it is 144.27 degree Celsius. Now, heat transfer area. So, A equal to MC CPC TCO minus TCA is the heat transfer divided by U into F into LMTD. So, 12 into 4200 TCO minus TCA equal to 60 degree Celsius divided by U 30 into F is 0.9 and LMTD is 144.27 calculating the area required area heat trans area is 776.32 meter square. The effectiveness of heat exchanger epsilon equal to CC TCO minus TCI divided by C minimum into THI minus TCI. So, substituting 50,400 into 140 minus 60 divided by 16,800 into 340 minus 80 equal to 0.69. So, effectiveness of heat exchanger is 0.69. The next question from 1990 question paper, a double pipe counter flow heat exchanger is to be designed to cool 12,000 kilograms per hour of an oil of specific heat 1.95 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin from 85 degree Celsius to 55 degree Celsius by water entering the heat exchanger at 30 degree Celsius and leaving at 45 degree Celsius. If the overall heat transfer coefficient is 400 watts per meter square Kelvin, calculate LMTD and surface area of the heat exchanger. So, this is counter flow heat exchanger. So, TCA equal to 30 degree Celsius, TCO equal to 45 degree Celsius, THI equal to 85 degree Celsius, THO equal to 55 degree Celsius, MH equal to 12,000 kilograms per hour, which is 3.3 kilograms per second, CPH equal to 1.95 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin and overall heat transfer coefficient U equal to 400 watts per meter square Kelvin. Now, this is the temperature profile of the counter flow heat exchanger. We calculate delta T1. So, THI minus TCO, TCO 85 minus 45 equal to 40 degree Celsius. Delta T2, THO minus TCI, 55 minus 30 equal to 25 degree Celsius. And we calculate the LMTD, delta T1 minus delta T2 divided by logarithmic of delta T1 by delta T2, substituting numerical values 40 minus 25 divided by logarithmic of 40 by 25 equal to 31.9 degree Celsius. Then we calculate the heat transfer area. So, A equal to MH CPH into THI minus THO divided by U into LMTD. So, 3.33 into 1950 into 85 minus 55 divided by 400 into 31.9 equal to 15.28 meter square. That is the heat transfer area for the heat exchanger. The next question from 1994 question paper, two streams of fluid of unit constant specific heats and unit mass flow rate exchange thermal energy in an adiabatic heat exchanger. The inlet temperature of the hot and the cold streams are 330 degrees Celsius respectively. Calculate LMTD and the effectiveness of the heat exchanger if the hot fluid is cooled to the zero entropy conditions. So, we are given the constant value of specific heat and constant value of the mass flow rate for both the fluid. So, CC equal to CH. So, we are given THI equal to 300 degree Celsius, TCI equal to 30 degree Celsius. So, this is the temperature profile of the counter flow heat exchanger. And when CH equal to CC, the temperature profile are parallel and straight line. Then delta T1 equal to delta T2 equal to LMTD. So, delta T1 left side temperature difference is THI minus TCO equal to THO minus TCI. So, 300 minus TCO equal to THO minus 330. So, rearranging 300 plus 30 equal to TCO plus THO. So, both are equal. So, we call it as 2 times of T. So, T equal to temperature equal to TCO equal to THO equal to 165 degree Celsius and LMTD is THI minus TCO delta T1 equal to LMTD, THI minus TCO 300 minus 165 equal to 135 degree Celsius. Then the heat effectiveness of the heat exchanger. So, we calculate LMTD, then effectiveness of heat exchanger, epsilon equal to for constant value of CC and CH, TCO minus TCI divided by THI minus TCI. So, substituting 165 minus 30 divided by 300 minus 30 equal to 0.5. So, LMTD is 135 degree Celsius and effectiveness is 0.5 are the answers to the problem.
The next question from 1995 question paper. A counter flow heat exchanger is to heat air entering at the 400 degrees Celsius with a flow rate of 6 kg per second by an exhaust gas entering at 800 degrees Celsius with a flow rate of 4 kg per second. The overall heat transfer coefficient is 100 watts per meter square Kelvin and the outlet temperature of the air is 551.5 degrees Celsius. Specific heat for both the air and the exhaust gases can be taken as 1100 joules per kilogram Kelvin. Calculate the heat transfer area needed and the number of transfer units. You have to calculate the area and the NTU. So, this is again counter flow heat exchanger TCI equal to 400 degrees Celsius, MC equal to 6 kilogram per second. THI equal to 800 degrees Celsius, MH equal to 4 kg per second, U overall heat transfer coefficient 100 watts per meter square Kelvin, TCO equal to 551.5 degrees Celsius, CPC equal to CPH equal to 1100 joules per kg Kelvin. Now we calculate the heat capacities. So heat capacity of the cold fluid CC equal to MC CPC 6 into 1100 equal to 6600 and CH equal to MH CPH. 4 into 1000 equal to 4400 watts per Kelvin. So, we have the rule heat gained by the cold fluid is equal to heat lost by the hot fluid MC CPC TCO minus TCI equal to MH CPH into THI minus THO. So, 6 into 1000 into 551.5 minus 400 equal to 4 into 1000 into 800 minus THO. So, THO equal to 572.75 degree Celsius. Then this is the temperature profile of the counter flow heat exchanger. So we calculate delta T1, so THI minus TCO which is 248.5 degree Celsius and delta T2 temperature difference on the right side of the heat exchanger. So THO minus TCI which is 172.75 degree Celsius. We calculate the LMTD delta T1 minus delta T2 divided by logarithmic of delta T1 by delta T2. So, substituting numerical values, the, the, the LMTD is 208.33 degree Celsius. Then we calculate the heat transfer area. So, A equal to MH CPH into THI minus THO divided by U into LMTD. So, substituting all the numerical values, 4400 into 800 minus 572.75 equal to 100 into 208.3, which is 47.99 meter square. And the number of transfer unit NTU equal to UA by C minimum 100 into 47.99 divided by 4400 equal to 1.09. So, NTU is 1.09 area equal to 47.99 meter square. The next question from 1997 question paper. In a certain double pipe heat exchanger, hot water flows at a rate of 50,000 kilograms per hour and gets cooled from 95 degree Celsius to 65 degree Celsius. At the same time, 50,000 kg per hour of cooling water at 30 degree Celsius enters the, enters the heat exchanger. The flow conditions are such that the overall heat transfer coefficient remains constant at 2270 watts per meter square Kelvin. Calculate the heat transfer area required. Assuming two streams are in parallel flow and for both the steam, CP equal to 4.2 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. MHC equal to MC, both the fluid are with the same flow rate, 50,000 kg per hour, which is 13.9 kg per second. THI equal to 95 degree Celsius, THO equal to 65 degree Celsius, TCI equal to 30 degree Celsius, overall heat transfer coefficient 2270 watts per meter square Kelvin, and CPH equal to CPC equal to 4.2 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. Now, heat capacities are equal, CC equal to CH. So, heat gained by the cold fluid equal to heat lost by the hot fluid. MC, CPC, TCO minus TCA equal to MH, CPH, TH minus TCHO. So, MC, CPC equal to MH, CPH that is getting cancelled. So, TCO minus 30 equal to 95 minus 65. So, TCO equal to 60 degree Celsius. So, the cold water outlet temperature is 60 degree Celsius. Now, for the parallel flow heat exchanger, we calculate the LMTD. So, delta T1, THI minus TCI, 95 minus 30 equal to 65 degree Celsius. Delta T2, THO minus TCO, 65 minus 65 degree Celsius. And LMTD is delta T1 minus delta T2 divided by logarithmic of delta T1 by delta T2, 65 minus 5 into logarithmic of 65 by 
divided by 5 equal to 23.39 degree Celsius. The heat transfer area, so area equal to MHCPH into THA minus THO, that is heat transfer divided by U into LMTD, so 13.9 into 4200 into 95 minus 65 divided by 2270 into 23.39, which is 32.98 meter square. Next question from 1998 question paper, hot fluid at 200 degree Celsius enters a heat exchanger at a mass flow rate of 10,000 kilograms per hour. If the specific heat is 2,000 joules per kilogram Kelvin, it is to be cooled by another fluid entering at 25 degrees Celsius with a mass flow rate of 2,500 kilograms per hour and the specific heat 400 joules per kilogram Kelvin. The overall heat transfer coefficient based on the outside area is 20 meter square is 250 watts per meter square Kelvin. So, area is 20 meter square and the U overall heat transfer coefficient is 250 watts per meter square Kelvin. Find the exit temperature of hot fluid when the fluid is in parallel flow. So, the given data THI 200 degrees Celsius, MH equal to 10,000 kilograms per hour which is 2.78 kilograms per second, CPH equal to 2,000 joules per kilogram Kelvin, TCI equal to 25 degrees Celsius, MC equal to 2,500 kilograms per hour which is 0.694 kilograms per second, CPC equal to 400 joules per kilogram Kelvin, area equal to 20 meter square and the overall heat transfer coefficient 250 watts per meter square Kelvin. Now, we calculate the heat capacities, the CC equal to MC CPC 0 0.694 into 200, 400 equal to 277.6, CH equal to MH 2.78 into 2000 equal to 5560 watts per Kelvin. Then we have the ratios C, C minimum by C maximum equal to minus 0 0.05, substituting and calculating minus 0 0.05, NTU number of transfer unit UA by C minimum 250 into 20 divided by 277.6 which is 18. Now, effectiveness of parallel flow heat exchange we have to remember this equation. So, there is no other way to calculate. So, at least we have to remember the effectiveness equation for parallel flow and simple simple equations we have to remember. So, for parallel flow heat exchanger it is 1 minus exponentially of minus NTU into 1 plus C. So, C is the ratio C minimum by C maximum divided by 1 plus C. The epsilon is also defined, the effectiveness is also defined by CH into THI minus THO divided by C minimum into THI minus TH, TCI. Now, we take the two expressions, 1 minus exponential of minus 18, NTU is 18 into 1 plus 0 0.05 divided by 1 plus 0 0.05 equal to CH equal to 5560 into 200 minus THO divided by 277.6 into 200 minus 25. So, calculating so, THO, the temperature of the hot fluid, THO equal to 200 minus 0 0.952 divided by 0 0.1144 equal to 191.67 degree Celsius. This is the answer to the problem. The next question again from 1998 question paper, hot water flows with a velocity of 0 0.1 meters per second in a 100 meter long 0 0.1 meter diameter pipe. Heat loss from the pipe outer wall is uniform and equal to 420 watts per meter square. If the inlet water temperature is 80 degrees Celsius, calculate the water temperature at the exit. Neglect the effect of pipe wall thickness. Specific heat of water is 4.2 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin and density of water is 1000 kilograms per meter cube. So, we write down the given data. Velocity of the water inside the pipeline 0 0.1 meters per second, length equal to 100 meter, diameter equal to 0 0.1 meter and the wall heat flux equal to 420 watts per meter square, TCI equal to 80 degree Celsius, CPC equal to 4.2 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin and density equal to 1000 kilograms per meter cube. The heat transfer from the wall to the water is equal to heat gain by the water. So, from inside surface of the pipe material, the heat is transferred to the water. So, the heat transferred to the water that is wall heat flux into area equal to heat gain by the water. So, heat transfer from the wall to the water is wall heat flux into surface area pi dl. Heat gained by the water is m c p c into t c o minus t c i. m equal to rho into pi by 4 d square into l into v. So, that is what the m. Density into 
வால்யூம் ரோ ஏ வி டென்சிட்டி இன்டு வால்யூம் இன்டு வெலாசிட்டி இன்டு சிபிசி இன்டு டிசிஓ மைனஸ் டிசிஐ நவ் சப்ஸ்டியூட்டிங் ஆல் தி நியூமெரிக்கல் வேல்யூஸ் அண்ட் கால்குலேட்டிங் எயிட்டி மைனஸ் டிசிஐ ஈக்குவல் டு பாயிண்ட் ஜீரோ ஃபோர் அண்ட் டிசிஐ ஈக்குவல் டு செவன்டி நைன் பாயிண்ட் நைன் சிக்ஸ் டிகிரி செல்சியஸ் The next question from 1999 question paper, two fluids A and B exchange heat in a counter, counter current heat exchanger. Fluid A enters at 420 degree Celsius with a mass flow rate of 1 kg per second. Fluid B enters with 20 degree Celsius and has a flow rate of 1 kg per second. The effectiveness of the heat exchanger is 70%. Determine the heat transfer rate and temperature of B at the exit temperature of the B. The specific heat, the specific heat fluid A is 1 kJ per kg Kelvin and B is 4 kJ per kg Kelvin. So, A is the hot fluid and B is the cold fluid. So, THA equal to 420 degree Celsius, MHC MC equal to 1 kg per second, TCA equal to 20 degree Celsius, Epsilon equal to 0.75, CPH equal to 1 kJ per kg Kelvin. and cpc equal to 4 kJ per kg kelvin and we calculate the heat capacity cc equal to mc cpc 1 into 4 equal to 4 kW per kelvin and ch equal to mh cph 1 into 1 equal to 1 kW per kelvin and we calculate the heat transfer rate q equal to epsilon into c minimum into th minus tci so 0.75 into 1 into 420 minus 20 equal to 300 kW and to calculate the effect uh, exit temperature of the cold fluid the effectiveness we define the effectiveness of the heat exchanger so epsilon equal to cc into tco minus tci divided by c minimum into thi minus tci so epsilon is given as 0.75 so substituting 4000 into tco minus 20 divided by 1000 into 420 minus 20 so calculating tco outlet temperature of the cold water is 95 degree celsius So we stop here. So these are all the books I have written in mechanical engineering subject. So there is one book, Heat and Mass Transfer. You can refer to it for additional theory part and the problems. And I upload the video lectures on the YouTube channel. You please subscribe the channel. Use the video for your better preparation and pass in the gate examination. Thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. So you can contact me through my mail ID or WhatsApp number for any clarification on the subject. So we'll meet again in another video lecture on the disc on the solutions for the gate question paper.